I did. To answer your question, yes, business is slow. Sock two packs, one for each of you. It's the perfect pair for the perfect pair. Kid, oh, I got what all kids crave. Crispy twigs, the crispiest in town. Sell us to eat socks. Get your socks here. Get your brie chewed for food's not nice, unless it's been chewed twice. Oh, I can't. Tip. You, you want, want a crispy twigs? Kids love Too crispy bad. twigs. Help! Help! I'm being attacked by robots! My, I got a 50% off sale. That's twice as cheap as normal. Buy one, get one free. That's two items for the price of one. That's a deal specifically made Cellar Street. Don't miss it. Get your fresh shrub straight out of the tube. That's get it for two. Oh, cool dice costume, kid. Careful you don't get arrested in it. Get your food here. I've only had dice described to me, kid, but that costume is dead on. Sail on food. My grandparents. The heart of Two Town was even greater and bigger and scarier than in the most outlandish stories she'd heard the Junkers tell in one croft. That's a spiffy dice costume, kid. <laughs> My grandmother told me about him. I'm Harry Two. I love the upside downtown. It's a whole second Two Town. And I can't stand them. I hate that stupid thing. It's a huge mistake. Sorry, you must have been speaking to my other half. I hate it. By which I mean, it rules! Yeah, that's kind of my whole thing. But one thing will always remain consistent. My love for the upside downtown. It's beautiful and great and... I hate it. Brilliant in both conception and execution. A disaster in waiting that will make everyone happy to die one day so that they can escape this horrible monster city. And then go to heaven, which will be exactly like the new Upside Downtown. You know, my doctor said the same thing. The getting so overwhelmed with the Upside Downs of this world all the time wasn't good for me. I called him an insensitive low roller and left, but maybe this time I should listen. Okay, have a nice and depressing day. Go on, Dicey. is such a creative dice costume. No way, Ronaldo. Are you seeing this? What's a dice? Words for sale. <laughs> 
Who wants to buy a word? Here's one for free. Syzygy. each other's what, what, what you said we share each other's husbands yep i don't you've been kissing my uh, oh my god two times it's double the fun please excuse us we need to talk about this sorry even decided she'd already inserted herself into the lives of the twins quite enough Shroud! Get your fresh shroud! Straight out of the tube! That's dinner for two! Hot spoilers for sale! Oh. Those are the two best I need inspiration. I'm through Pipkin, by the way. I am an artist, but not with paints or music. My art is the art of trading, and I want to push the art forward! Trading Gubble Gregors is so routine. I want to trade something that hasn't been traded before. Say, you wouldn't be willing to trade for that costume your friend is wearing, are you? I figured. Probably wouldn't fit too many folks anyway. If you ever have anything to trade, you'll come see me, right? Especially something unusual. Excellent. Oh, don't ask why. I'll just sell them. Not the- You wouldn't happen to have anything, would- A word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? Oh, I've heard that before. It's a common phrase and common things don't- No trade. Not the- You wouldn't happen to have anything. A word? Oh, no. Zipper juice is the only juice. I'm selling sweet twigs here. Sweet socks. Sweet twigs here. Sweet socks here. Ah, you're already wearing socks. Come back when you meet new ones, kid.
fried bacon there, kid. Look, let me repay you with a deal. I'm looking to trade a weird-looking four-sided skull for a gobble -gregor. That'll be just the thing I need to gobble -greg my way out of future robot trouble. What do you say, kid? You don't know what a gobble -greger is? Ah, forget it. Don't know what a gobble Gregor is? Ah, forget it then, kid. But do come back if by any chance you happen to find one. I got words for sale here. Choice words. Pluviophile. It means lover of rain. <laughs> That's just a free sample. Hello! Can I interest you in a potion? Wait a minute. I don't know you. I only sell potions to my regular customers. I don't get- You're not from around- You must feel lost. It would be logical to give her a summary of the town that she finds herself in. I was getting to that! Jeez! <clears throat> it would be logical of me to give you a summary of the town you find yourself in. As you may have noticed, we're big into duality here. Even though it has its not unsubstantial downsides. By the card makers, I'm speaking, Jorid! Split personality. Though ours is more unfortunate than most. Jared and I don't agree on very much these days. Ah, a keen question suggesting a logical mind. Everyone in Two Town is split, but it's not always the same way. I am fated to always be battling my other half, but even on my worst days, I know that it's fair. We battle it out and it's a great system! As you can see, Jorid and I are in conflict a lot. We want different things in, in business, in life, in love. In that some of us don't want love because it's an illogical distraction. And some of us want to get mad kissy. Also, we are at loggerheads over the direction of our business. But not for long. I am working on a potion to decide this once and for all. Yes, a potion to decide who is in charge. Whoever drinks it will be the leader once and for all reg- Which will be me. You misspoke. As anyone could clearly see that I am intended to be the one in charge. If you simply reason it out, you'll see that- You know what? I have had it with your condescending, precious logic! An emotional and frankly embarrassing response, dare I say, cringe? <laughs> 
Worthy? Ugh, you two enjoy talking. I'm out of here. L ah, we have a few moments of privacy. There is one thing. That potion I mentioned. I need ingredients to finish it. And I'm afraid time is of some matter because my partner is working on a similar potion. One that will lock me out for good. It's logical, therefore, that I finish my potion first, so if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I would appreciate it. I can barely hear you with these fingers in my ears, but that sounded like a yes? I require three bloobs. Unremarkable organisms distinguished by their loud screams. Listen for their sounds and you'll find them. And don't worry about harvesting them for my experiments. My research indicates that it is actually quite ethical and logical for me to do this. And don't worry about harvesting them for me. Think of them like little vegetables, which, due to their particular evolution, know how to scream. It's all very logical. Oh, and there's a mighty reward in it for you. In conclusion, what I've said is highly intriguing, and if I were you, I'd go find those bloobs. Farewell! He's gone, yeah? Perfect! Uh, listen, before you go, that potion that we're working on, I need ingredients first to finish it. Because as soon as he gets control again, my partner is going to invent a potion to lock me out for good! There's no stopping him. It's logical! So, you know, if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I'd be much obliged. Perfect! Oh, perfect! Okay, I'll need three bloobs, same as him, but you need to give them to me. Oh, and uh, there's a reward in it for you. I know, it's so intriguing. If I were you, I'd go find those ingredients to discover what it is. <laughs> You dang little blue critter! You can't hear that, can't you? That noise! Uh, dang it! I'm trying to sleep, and that blabbed bloob is up on my roof making a ruckus. It's those dang... Oh, I don't even know what they are! Screaming wobblies! You seen them? Now they're up on my roof making... All I want to do is nap. I'm old. I've spent more hours awake than anyone, and I deserve some moments of blessed unconsciousness. Quiet. Un... You'll help me, won't you? I'll reward you or something. Thank you, little one. You've made an old man's heart, which will happen as soon as this old man's ears are no longer filled with cotton to keep the darn noise down. Some of us are trying to sleep! Thank you, little one. Yeah, come on, buddy. I can 
the Mohane. Ah, Kasnino. Oh, you a skilena. Come on, skilena, Hano. Okish Mona. Scan my harla. Go get him in the hana. Okish Golo. Ah, Kasmuan again. Oh, my skilena, Hollow. Kush come and hang Kasnin. Take money, my canna. You, come close. You, child. I believe we can be useful to each other. No, nor are you. But the threads of fate weave strange fabrics indeed. You see, I've noticed that you have a dice with you. Right, a good act, child. You'll need your wits to survive what's coming, I'd wager. So, let's say, hypothetically, you have a dice, which of course you don't. Which means you, hypothetically, have experience in their identification and the true nature. I've heard tell of a dice circulating Cellar Street. Of course, it's been so long since a true dice has been here. People don't entirely recognize it for what it is. And if these rumors were true, the folks dimly sense it has value. They treat it as something rare and unique, say, a fossil, not knowing its true value, its true nature. I believe someone like yourself could trade for it, or at the very least, trade up to it. Hypothetically, of course. Well, I'd be interested. And I'd make it worth your while. Worth your while, indeed. Oh, go goodness. You can't, child. But you can trade. I've told you all I can. Oh, except... Except that I've heard whispers that someone is buying words, and someone else is selling them. And that would be where I'd start. Make yourself useful, child. Trade and trade until, before you know it, you've got your hands on one of those dangerous, awful, deadly dice. And then you give it to me, and I will. Take care of it. Town. Alas, the door was sealed shut, and only a roll of a three would open it. But Evans' friend was one dot short. He could only roll a one and a two, and Evan would have to find a way to upgrade him. Strange. What's up with these little guys? Well, I wonder if they could fix you.
seemed as though Dicey was affecting the giant the board, board game. game. game is nearing its end. Soon we shall have a winner. Look for people to trade with in Cellar Street. Uh. 
And lo, did the number two come to random. And lo, it was good. I'm oh, gonna call that boy. Do I ever shut up? my chest, up me nose, and lo, bumping. did the number well, two everywhere. Smile. Sleeve oh, in my chest. Up. Who's up me? And low. Let's try it. With not one, but two towns and two moons rather than simply the boring one. The who wants to buy a word? I got my rarest word. <laughs> That's a talk. What do you have to offer in trade? I'm listening. Isom. It sounds gross. Like you're putting something in your eye. No thanks, no trade here. What do you have to offer in trade? Well, your last one didn't do anything for me, but I'm listening. How does a small girl like you know an adult word like that? Adlubescence. Oh, learning it is a pleasure. The breath of the essence sound, the mouth feel of Adlu. Oh, oh, this is a word I can definitely sell. Tell you what, I'll give you a great word in exchange to. Oblectament. Close. Oblectament. It means, for example, learning adlubescence is an oblectament. Thank you again, kid. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Beautiful. Use it well, kid. I got so many words, kid. Got a sale on... I already traded with you. I'm good for words, but thank you. Enjoy oblectament. Kid, that's a trade secret. Come. Hey, here's a free sample. Hmm? Halcyon. It means happy and careless. First one's free, kid! Even decided she couldn't quite keep up with Mr. Twofold. Get your fresh! 
straw. Straight out of the tube. That's dinner for two. Not the one. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would A word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? Oh, that is a beautiful word. Oblectament. I would like some oblectament, please. Yes, it is a good word, and that means it has value. Any anything with value I can trade. Oh, this is going to be great! Let me compensate you for that word by giving you a Gobblegregor in exchange. They're very futuristic. Perfect. We have a deal. Enjoy it, and be sure not to Gobblegreg too much on your first go. Great, kid. I already traded with you. Thanks again, by the way. Enjoy the Gobblegregor. Have I? Only every chance I get! Any day with a Gobblegregor in it is a good one, kid. Master Session, let me do the hard work for you. Kid, all hey, I got what all kids crave. Crispy twigs, the crispiest in town. Soil parents around. <laughs> bring them back with you and tell them to bring their money. Oh, right, kid, you want crispy twigs? Kids love crispy twigs.
Tell us to eat socks. Get your socks here. Yeah, come back with money, kid, and I'll be happy to sell you all your socks. You know you've got to have it. Please, trade the Gubble Gregor to me. I'm sure this skull I'm offering is invaluable. It must be. It's darned old. Thank you. Here, have this, uh, fossilized skull, I think. Strangely four-sided. It must have come from some sort of ancient extinct animal. Big Red dug it up a while back before- Uh, forget it. It's not important. But this has got to be the- Sell us to eat socks. Oh, Get your socks here. So <laughs> Sorry, Kate. Paying customers only. It's a hard business to be in selling words, but lucky for me, I have a... You have the ingredients! Brilliant! That's all I need. Please. Remember, you did say you'd give them to me. Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, it's just need... Ah. Perfect! It's just me! For the first time, it's just me! Thank you for this. Uh, let me give you something in exchange for all of- You know what? By the cards, it's so quiet without him in my head. I may actually miss him already. <laughs> He'd say that's only logical. Isn't that funny? It's funny. Thank you again. You'll come back to visit me, won't you? You even start...
Get your fresh rum straight out of the tube. That's dinner for two. Who wants some super juice? I got super juice here. Sellers to eat socks. Get your socks here. <laughs> Words for sale. Who wants to buy a word? Here's one for free. Syzygy. Such power, child. I wouldn't be lurking here, talking to strangers. No, no, it wasn't me. The queen destroyed. I want to say thank you, child. It's been so long since I've seen a dice, even one that's dead like this. That alarms you, doesn't it? Yes, dice can die. We found that out in the No Dice War.
It was. The Queen Child decided that she should be the only one to wield the dice. And so she waged war on them and on those who'd wield them. And she did not show mercy in victory. If, when she finds out there's still a dice and still a wielder, well, she will be apoplectic. And she is not to be toyed with. What happened here, she will do to you and your friend here. It's not a threat, little one. It's an observation, gleaned from hard-earned experience. Hypothetically speaking, that is. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. As for this poor dice, I'm going to return it to where it belongs, to the sacred valley of the dice. I suspected there are some of us who remember the old ways, child. We must stay hidden and we must stay silent. The valley is hidden far below random and far from the queen's prying eyes. It's a crypt, a land of the dead, forbidden to all but a few will remember. I, Dwager, you don't fully know what you travel with. I'm glad to hear it. Goodbye, child. Take care and random Good luck, Dice Wheel. And you... Two little dice. wouldn't open until Dicey had a third pip. Which was good, because it saved me from having to repeat myself. Ooh, again, that door won't open unless Dicey has a third pip, which he does not. Thank you. 